serious, guys. Uh, we got a very powerful prophetic word here, both from Zach Drew and from Jim Baker. Uh, and then I join in a little bit, and you hear some from some of the panel, including Carl Gallup's and, and Mark Biltz. But here's the deal. Prophecy is being revealed. And I want to play this because as this was being taped uh, back in uh, March, uh, we had no idea how intense things were going to get and the, and, the, and the threats going on. So let's go there now uh, and hear uh, a, a little bit of prophecy here and conversation that was going on on the Jim Baker Show and the threat to America and, and really to the world. I, I've, I've, been, I've been holding back some of the prophecies. There is going to be bombs in America. There's going yeah, to yeah, be yeah. terrorism. Of course. We have let yep. probably a million terrorists into our country. We don't know how many. They just, the border's wide open. We do. We don't yeah. They're planning to destroy the grid. Yeah. Russia wants to destroy the grid. China wants to destroy the grid. North Korea wants to destroy the grid. The grid is going to be destroyed at some point. Amen. And that means America is stopped. Yeah. It's time for the church to know this. I believe we're going to have the greatest revival because I believe yeah. millions are going to come to God Amen. Yeah. when yeah. they see all the world coming apart. Yeah. yeah. A great falling away, but yeah. at the same time, a great harvest. Amen. This yes. is harvest time. Yeah. It is harvest time. Yes. But I, I, I can't sleep. Yeah. I can't rest because I know what's coming. God is speaking to me night and day. Warn the people. Warn the people. It's here. It's here. It's here. Yes. And I want... Now, you can hear the urgency in Jim Baker's voice as he obviously... Uh, is receiving a word from the Lord, and this happens to a lot of our elder uh, pastors and elder uh, ministers. Late in their life, they start getting this urgent call by God to warn the people. This happened to the prophet, all the ancient prophets, okay? And as they got older, they got more and more revelation about the end times. We've seen it with A.A. A. Allen, we saw it with Dr. Lester Summerall. We saw it with Oral Roberts. We've seen it with R.W. Schambach. We've seen it with Billy Graham. We literally have seen it every, uh, just really, of course, Jack Van Impey was always telling this, but, and, he, and so did Dr. Irvin Baxter. But they even got more urgent. Matter of fact, Irvin Baxter told me, I called him one time. He said, Paul, I'd like to talk a little more, but I can't right now because I'm finishing my uh, commentary on the book of Revelation. And it, the Lord tells me I have to get this done. And that was like in July of 2020. Of course, he died on Election Day on November the 3rd, 2020. So they start... The, all, and, you know, So I, I'm a prophecy guy. I get information from the Lord. God gives me revelation. But... I believe these elder, these elders of the gospel, no matter who they are, whether they were even into prophecy or not, are all of a sudden being given warnings from God for the people. Let's listen now to what Mondo has to say here. Quickly, as we get ready, did you want to say any more? Well, I just want to say quickly about the EMP. Yeah. You know, we have Klaus Schwab, which it, right. most of you know who Klaus Schwab is, but if you don't, I highly encourage you to research him. He truly is one of the most... He's one of the villains of the world. He's the leader. He's the founder of the World Economic Forum. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, he's the one that we get the word, uh, the Great Reset. It's the mm -hmm. World Economic yeah. Forum that came up with the Great Reset. Right. He's the one that coined the phrase, the fourth industrial revolution. You've heard uh, in by 2030, you will uh, own nothing and be happy about it. Right. Yeah, That's bugs. Klaus yeah. Schwab. Wow. This is the same man, the same group of people including Klaus Schwab, recently actually, it was about a month and a half ago at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, said that he believes that there will be an EMP that will pale in comparison to the destruction of COVID-19, and he even gave a timestamp. He said within the next two years. So if this is the exact William same group of people that warned us 
of COVID-19. I think we ought to pay attention wow. to what yeah. they're yeah. saying. Yeah. I think so he wild. said two years. Here's the thing. I believe our enemy will act in the next two years. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Because they know yeah. if we get yeah. a president right. Yeah, exactly. right. like right. Donald Trump, yeah. they fear Donald Trump because yeah. he, he's strong. Right. Jim, you yeah. know, we just watched two weeks ago China put together two enemies. Iran and Saudi Arabia, exactly. yeah. you just marry them That's just right. like that. That's right. Then the next week, fly into Moscow and put mm -hmm. Vladimir Putin under his wing and say, you're my little junior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In other words, the United States just gave up the most powerful seat in the world. Right. Yeah. Yeah. President Xi of China is now the most powerful man in the world. This is a beast dragon. kingdom, I, and this, uh, that's why I'm preaching yeah. tonight on yeah. beast kingdom rising. Yeah. And the dragon, the is, dragon giving the beast. is giving power to the beast. And the dragon sounds like China, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. It's one. So, yeah, I mean, you hear you heard Zach Drew tell you that uh, Klaus Schwab, World Economic Forum, uh, are really, these are these secret societies are really trying to um, set the agenda for the world. It's because it's it's the beast kingdom rising, just like I said. It's the new world order. And notice here, Zach had a lot of urgency in his voice. Jim Baker came right back with more urgency and saying, I feel like it's truly going to happen in two years. Then I begin to tell him, well, look at this. Look at the, the threat of China. Look at the dangers that they bring to the world. Look at the power that President Xi is taking taking his seat and we seem to be the united states surrendering our seat and um you know carl gallops and pastor mark Biltz both jump in there because they realize that this uh the red china the dragon as as carl said it's the dragon it gives the beast its power or in lucifer if you will and in, or china as mark Biltz says it's the devil's plan i'll say it that way and it's truly in play I'll be back with some more updates. I'll continue to give you these uh, these nuggets of prophecy uh, from this very prophetic uh, two shows we did uh, with Mark Biltz and Carl Gallops. I really, really, uh, really was blessed to be on this panel. I'll be back with more right here on the coming apocalypse.